Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're looking at the LASTE, L-A-S-T-E system in the A10C, essentially what I think of as wind and temperature correction for weapons deployment. Sly, can you please remind me what LASTE actually stands for? That's the low altitude safety and targeting enhancement. So what we're going to show today is how to use the LASTE system. So we're going to start here in the mission editor and we're going to show just how to set the wind or how the wind is set in a mission. Then we're going to go into the mission and take down the actual wind details in meters per second and direction. And then we'll show you a spreadsheet that we've got freely available in our Discord server that can convert raw wind and temperature values into CDU friendly values that we have to input into the A10C to get the last two system to work. Right, so we're in the mission editor now. All I've got to show you is, I'm going to click on the weather and I'm going to set these just randomly. I'm going to put 12 knots at 359 at 33 feet, 6600 feet. I'm going to put, pff, I don't know, uh, 25 knots at that direction. And at 26,000 feet, I'm going to put uh, 60 knots at that direction. I'm going to save that and get into the mission now. Right, we're in now. Now all I want to do at this point is to get the raw wind values. I'm going to do that by getting to the briefing screen by pressing left, alt and B, bravo, and we've got the briefing here. And you can do that at any time along the mission. Are you ready to take these values down sly? Over. Temperature of plus 20 degrees. Roger. Q and H we don't need, cloud cover we don't need. Wind we've got at ground level 6 meters per second at 360. 6 at 360. Then at 2000 meters altitude, we've got 12 meters, meters per second at 304. 12 at 304. And 8000 meters altitude, 30 meters per second at 328. And 30 at 328. Right, we're going to pop out of DCS now and go and show you the spreadsheet. So we have a spreadsheet freely available to everyone in our Discord server. If you don't know how what a Discord server is, then where the bloody hell have you been? Everyone's on it. And to get onto it, we have a link to our Discord server on the bottom or the video description of all of our recent videos. So we're going to bring Discord up here. Once you're in Discord, you have all of these different channels to look in at the in the Green Reapers server. The one we are interested in is under tutorials. We want guides. I'm going to click on guides there. And then what we've got here is the last post with today's data, which is the 5th of February 2019 by CAP, the A10C LASTI calculator. Click on that link there. The blue figures are what we are going to type in, and the green figures are what are, is going to come out the other end. But Sly, can you explain it properly? So from the uh, information you gave me in the briefing notes, I've typed in the blue figures there, so the speed, uh, the direction, uh, the temperature, and the magnetic variance depending on whereabouts we are in DCS world, so which uh, you've got the grey table there uh, for the magnetic variance. Uh, punching those figures in in blue, and then down the bottom we've got the data ready for the CDU entry in, in green. So we'll, these are the lines that we're going to enter into the CDU for the last week. Roger. Right, so we're going to write these down and jump back into DTS standby. Okay, we're in our ATNCs. Now we're going to look down here at the CDU. Just going to try and get my track IR to play ball. Okay, what do we want to do, Sly? So we want to hit the SIS button. And then we want to hit the lasty button, top right hand corner. Oh, there it is. Right. Done. And then we want to hit wind, the bottom right hand corner. Done. Now we're on our lasty page, is we're going to set the amount of lines that we wish to enter. So uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five lines of worth of data. So we're going to set up these lines. And basically what these are is the altitudes. So we're going to start with ground altitude, which is going to be zero, zero. So we're going to punch zero, zero in. And then we're going to click on the uh, arrow button next to the first or the top, just underneath where it says Alt. Yep, right, so bosh. I'm pretty sure it's in thousands of feet, so we're going to set uh, zero, 01, which are going to be 1,000 feet, and we're going to put that into the second one. Zero, 01 in the second one, yep. We're going to do zero, 02 into the third one. Zero, 02 into the third one, yep. And now we've run out of space, so on the, on the, on the right hand side you can see 
P1 slash 2. So we're on page 1 of 2. Mm -hmm. So if we find our uh, page button. Okay, page button down. Click. Yep, I'm on page 2 of 2. Perfect. So we'll continue on. So we were at uh, 0, 07. So we'll punch in 0, 07 and put it on the next line of. Yep. And then we've got 26. So we'll plug in 26 on the last line. Right, well, so that's five used, yep, that's five used. That's the five, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've done that, we go back to page one. Yep. Uh, we've got the uh, our lines entered, we just need to add our wind data, so we're going to press wind edit. Wind edit, roger. And we can see our lines of data here, we've got our alts, so we've got zero, zero, ground, speed, uh, ground wind, we've got uh, zero, one, zero, two, like we entered just mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. We can type in our data, so our data we've taken from the sheets, and we're just going to type in 173. Uh, we're not going to include the dash, but uh, we're going to say so we're going to type in 17312, one, seven, and then we're going to type, and then we're going to press the arrow button next to the top line, the zero, zero, alt. And that will insert the data into the wind section. Agreed. We're going to type the temperature in next for that line, which is uh, two zero. Yeah. And we're going to press the arrow on the right hand side next to that three stars where it says temperature for the top line. Affirm. Uh, we should get a plus twenty. Affirm. Okay, and that's it. We're just going to go down the lines, type in the uh, the data from the sheet. So the next one is one seven uh, one one seven two three. And the temperature for that line is 18. And the next one is 141 for 23. And the temperature for that line is 60. 60, 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. So you put 3-2 in, and it will put plus in, mm -hmm. and then you punch the uh, arrow again. A firm, minus 32. Is there anything else we have to enter, or can I put my CDU back to default? Once you've finished uh, inputting that data, that is pretty much it. So you can go, page, uh, you can go back to uh, the first page, and then you can go to uh, waypoint, and then go back to your waypoint. Okay, so that's back to the default position. Okay, so, and just to clear up for people what this is actually doing, this is giving correction to targeted information like CCIP lines, giving wind correction. That's what it's doing, isn't it? And temperature correction. Yeah, this is for uh, unguided uh, munition, so dropping of unguided munitions, uh, and what it does is it wind corrects for the, uh, for the dumb bombs. It corrects the uh, instrumentation on your HUD. I hope that helps, and see you later.